In 1610, almost 300 years before the invention of the motion picture, Caravaggio's scandalous life ended. Yet his signature style of painting, in which subjects are illuminated by a single light source and posed mid-action against a field of black, left an indelible mark, producing scores of imitators, the Caravaggisti. Filmmakers of the modern era were also captivated by Caravaggio. His ability to find beauty in the unexpected, the ordinary, and even in violence resonated with the cinematic. Martin Scorsese recalled, I was, I was quite taken by Caravaggio. It was very different from the paintings and uh, the composition of the paintings, of course, that preceded it, I thought. It was like modern staging in, in, in film. It was as if we had just come in the middle of a scene. He would have been a great filmmaker. There's no doubt about it. Caravaggio and his followers were fascinated by the dangerous women of the Bible, whose beauty and erotic wiles lured men towards destruction or even death. While Judith and Jael were cast as heroines who seduced the enemy and committed bloody acts to liberate the Israelites from their oppressors, treacherous temptresses Eve, Delilah, Salome, and Lot's daughters used the same means to perfidious ends. The Caravaggisti explored these narratives with their characteristic flair for the dramatic and their penchant for the macabre. So too did filmmakers, who gave birth to the modern sisters of these dangerous seductresses, rendering them in a visual language paralleling the Baroque painters. In the 1940s, film noir brought us the definitive femme fatales at their most hazardously alluring. A half century later, the femme forte was embodied by actresses like Sharon Stone, Uma Thurman, and Kathy Bates. Sometimes evil, sometimes enthralled to a villainous male, these vamps used their hypnotic eroticism to get what they wanted. The femme fatale is the ultimate male fantasy, at once terrifying and electrifying. She also speaks to women, a potent character who defies society and its conventions, challenging ideas around female virtue, beauty, sexuality, rage, and power. The images of femme fatales and old masters feel equally vital as their counterparts in modern cinema, as dangerous in their allure as in their suggestions of empowerment.